All right, Crazy Naughty Kids, are you ready for day two of being so very thankful? Guys, the Bible has so much to say about giving thanks to God, but also of having a thankful and grateful heart. And so we are going to spend the next 25 days learning about being thankful. If you've got your books, I want you to go ahead and turn to the very first page. We're going to be on Tuesday. And as we're reading our Bible scripture, I want everybody to think of at least one good friend that they have. Think of a friend that you have and think of why you are so thankful for that friend. All right. Also, make sure you grab your Bibles because we're going to go into God's Word first and we're going to see what the Bible has to say about friendship. So I've got my Bible out. And remember, you might want to underline a verse or get a highlighter and highlight it. This is a great verse for us to all remember and even write on our heart. Are you ready? It's Romans 12, 10. It says, Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Honor one another above yourselves. Honor one another above yourselves. We spent a lot of time this summer talking about, or the past couple months, talking about the golden rule. We did a whole big house about it, and I'm pretty sure that we've had this verse before. God wants us to love each other. He wants us to love our friends. And God has blessed us, hopefully all of us, with at least one good friend. And you know what? That might be your brother or your sister. Maybe you're super good friends with your sister. I am like best friends with my sister. My sister, Rachel, is one of my favorite people in the entire world. And so today, where it says, I am thankful for my friend, and then there's a blank, I want you to write your friend's name in there. It might be somebody from school or somebody from church. It might be a neighbor. I want you to write their name down right now. And then it says, I am thankful for my friend. And I wrote my friend, Rachel, because. Now think of why you're thankful for that person. And I am just gonna say, because she is always there to listen and love me. All right. You can write whatever it is. Maybe you're thankful because that person plays with you. She's nice. He's nice. He's a good friend. Um, what is the reason that you are thankful for your friend? All right. And we are going to pray and thank God for our friends. So I'm going to pray and thank God for my friend, Rachel, and my other friends that I might not have listed. You can pray for your friends. All right, so let's do it right now. Dear Jesus, thank you so much. God, thank you for all of the friends that you bless me with. God, I especially thank you for Rachel and for the way that she is always there for me. She's always listening. She's always there to give me a hug. She is so awesome. And God, today, I just pray that you would help her to know that I am so thankful for her. Thank you for blessing me with really just great, great, great friends, God. I am so blessed to have so many friends and help me to love them with brotherly love and to honor them above myself. And all God's children said, amen. All right, guys and girls, we have even more things to be thankful for. So I will see you tomorrow when we talk about some more. 